So this is just a really brief guide for getting started using the Listen Audiobook Player app. The first time you launch it, it'll ask you to choose a folder where you keep your audiobooks. And you can add multiple folders if you have different locations that you want to use. When you're done, hit OK, and it will scan in the books that it finds. Um, you have different options for sorting in the library, as well as um, if you want the books to show in subfolders or just as a flat long view. Um, to open a book, just tap it. And you can play and pause by just tapping anywhere on the background. This is a LibriVox one. Um, the navigation drawer here has a, by default one minute skip and 10 second skip, but you can configure that to what you want. You can also add chapter skips from the settings. Um, the progress bar, if you long press, it enables to where you can seek over the entire book or just within a single file. Um, you can adjust the playback speed. It was merely an exclamation. He turned aside, walked out of the room, and went into his little consulting room and lit the gas there. It was a little room because Dr. Kemp did not live by practice and ended with a day's news. Um, there's lots of lots of settings that you can customize um, behavior and appearance to what suits you best. I'll just kind of show you some of the things you can do uh, with the appearance here. Changing some of the colors. Uh, let's change it to white. And you can make the background of the progress bars transparent. You know, to kind of get a custom look to, to what you'd like. Um, interactive controls, things that you um, can customize are the skip times and uh, things that you tap on and click. And uh, there's automatic behaviors for like when you connect to a Bluetooth, um, plug in your headset, default volumes and speeds. Um, Lots of lots of options. Uh, there's also a lot of sleep uh, settings. Um, one thing that's kind of unique to this app is the auto sleep, which allows you to set a time where when you play the book, it will automatically start the sleep timer for you and for how many hours after that you want that to be active. Um, you can sync your book times with other devices through a Dropbox um, and yeah so lots lots of options there's bookmarking automatic uh, history of play and pause um, you can go full screen mode in KitKat and above um, so yeah give it a try play around with it if you have questions let me know and I'll, I'll uh, do my best to answer them thanks